Okay, uh, first of all, we're excited about the start and uh, we want to see how people have progressed over the summer, both our men and women with their summer training program. So uh, we're looking to start off the season and uh, get into the process of building up throughout the fall, uh, and assess our initial uh, fitness, and then use each of our competitions as stepping stones towards the championships, the conference, regionals, and hopefully some national uh, championship exposure. Well, uh, both teams, both our men and women, have some uh, good quality returnees, and then we have some nice newcomers coming in, so I think that'll help us improve our standing in the conference. And again, this is the first year we're eligible for postseason, so it'll be exciting to get to go to the regionals up at uh, uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. On the women's side, I think Courtney Hydorn and Aaron Edge will be our uh, leaders of our returning group. Uh, Courtney's our lone senior, and uh, Aaron's a, a sophomore. Both had uh, good years throughout the fall and into the spring. Um, Ann Tarotich and Amanda Brisso will be some good quality newcomers that'll give us some depth. So I think we'll have a good uh, foursome. We need to see who's going to step up on our women's side as number five uh, to give us some good uh, total team scoring punch. Uh, the men, uh, Ben McGraw is our top returnee. He's a second team all-conference uh, returnee. And uh, Ethan Stacks, a good quality runner. Brady Novak, another good returnee. So we've got some good returning group. And I think our top uh, newcomer should be Nick Stewart from uh, uh, McClure North High School. So I think we're going to be improved quite a bit on the men's side. And again, it's just how well both teams can come together and run closer together and uh, use each of our uh, competitions to build up. And really, cross country, it all comes down to you know how well you do at the conference meet, how well you do at the regional meet. Unlike other sports where you have kind of one-loss records and are going to determine your uh, postseason tournament. Uh, placings here. We just got to be ready to go at the end of October in Pittsburgh, Kansas for the conference championships and then up at uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota for the Central Regionals. Well, uh, I think it's going to be from last year to this year and then even in the upcoming year. So it's just kind of a building process. I really appreciate the attitude of the the team members accepting us in uh, this past year. Uh, they're really excited about improving, so that's a good uh, good uh, uh, bench to, to start from. And then with the newcomers, uh, it's going to be a, a very exciting way to build up the team. So, But we, we still need to build up our roster a little bit more, get some more quality in. So I would imagine us maybe being in the middle of the pack still in the conference, uh, but I think we'll have some people that can take the shot at top spots individually. But uh, And then in the third year or so, I think we want to improve our overall team placings too. But the school and the, the location here is a good quality place for cross country and uh, we're excited about the opportunity to, to keep building up the program.